In this video, I'm going to reveal to you how I turned around a potentially dangerous diagnosis of diabetes. This process I'm about to reveal to you helped me. I cannot with good conscience say it will help everyone because everyone's situation is very unique. But for a lot of you, it will help. If you want to learn more, please click on the link in the description below. First, let's begin by explaining what type 2 diabetes is. Type 2 diabetes is a condition that affects the way your body metabolizes sugar or glycose. This is an important fuel for the body. When we have type 2 diabetes, our body either resists the effects of insulin or doesn't produce enough insulin to maintain normal glucose levels. There's no cure, quote unquote, for type 2 diabetes you'll be told by physicians. But for me, losing weight, eating well, drinking a smoothie a day, and exercising helped me cure my disease. If you are overweight, especially for young people today, you are at risk of this disease. Being overweight is the main risk factor. And I repeat, the main risk factor. If you store fat mainly in the abdomen, you have a greater risk of type 2 diabetes than if you store fat anywhere else on your body. Your risk of type 2 di diabetes raises if you're a man with a waist circumference of more than 40 inches or if you're a woman with a waist that is greater than 35 inches. The less active you are, the greater risk you are of type 2 diabetes. Physical activity helps you control your weight, uses up glucose as energy, and makes your cells more sensitive to insulin. The risk of type 2 diabetes increases as you get older, especially after the age of 45. Why? Because most people tend to exercise less, lose muscle mass, and gain weight as they get older. But type 2 diabetes is also increasing dramatically among young children, adolescents, and younger adults because mainly of diet, less activity, and not being educated about nutrition. Prediabetes is what my condition was, and this is when your blood sugar level is higher than normal, but not high enough to be classified as diabetes. Left untreated, prediabetes often does progress to type 2 diabetes. So what are we going to do about it? For those of you with full onset type 2 diabetes, you will have to follow your doctor's course of treatment and try to follow what I'll be sharing with you because it just might help you. For those who are on the edge of onset type 2 diabetes, you have a chance to turn it around as long as it is not genetic, meaning it runs in a family like type 1 diabetes. But for 90% of you, this doesn't have to be your demise. As you can see in the picture here, this is where I was when all my health problems started to pop up. I was 60 pounds overweight, I had high blood pressure, I was pre-diabetic, I felt lousy all the time, I was grouchy, and I didn't like myself very much. Six months later, I looked like this. I have to say, once I got over the first week, it was all pretty much a simple process. To get healthy is a mindset. You have to want to. No one can make you do it, and if you cheat, you are not fooling anyone, not even yourself. It has to be a life change, not a diet. It has to be sustainable so you don't put the weight back on. So the first step is to get your mind in the right frame. My wife and I just picked the day to start. And before that day arrived, we pigged out <laughs> on everything and anything we could eat. Then once the day came, that was it. Down to business and we got healthy. It can be easier for you though. I discovered a program called the 21 day diet that I purchased and have a link in the description below so you can check it out. What this does is it makes it easier for you or should I say more pleasant a way to actually lose weight. Before you begin you need to know your daily ca calorie deficit to be able to lose weight. Everyone is different and it depends on how much weight you want to lose and how fast you want to lose it. There are free smartphone health apps out there that will help you do this. Then get the program, which is an instant download after purchasing. Realistic weight loss expectations are around two to three pounds per week. It is possible to increase the weight loss using the smoothie diet plan, 
but it would be challenging for most schedules. Many users have lost 50 to 70 pounds after several cycles of the diet plan, with many of these testimonials up on the official home page. Just don't expect to lose 50 pounds after three weeks. It would take a few cycles of repeating the program if that's what your weight loss goal is. So here's what is including in the program. All of the materials in the Smoothie Diet program are digital and can be downloaded to any device for future reference. The guides, the recipes, the booklets can be accessed from any computer, tablet, or smartphone. The Smoothie Diet Core Plan. This guide explains the core philosophy of the diet program and some basic nutritional information that dispels many weight loss myths and mistakes. The core guide also includes the detailed recipes and shopping lists for all the smoothies starting on page 31. The quick start guide. While it's not recommended to skip the core guide and just jump right into the daily diet, you can if you like. The quick start guide allows you to quickly access your daily planner telling you which smoothies are on the menu for the day. Three, and this is optional, is the detox. The three-day detox will flush unwanted toxins and optimize many of your organs known to be helpful to, meta to metabolism and weight loss. If your diet prior to starting the program included a lot of fast or processed food, the detox is an excellent primer before starting the smoothie diet plan. Now with this plan, along with getting regular exercise, you will lose weight gradually and if you are in precondition like me or if you are just starting the onset of type 2 diabetes this will help you turn your life around if you think that i'm giving value on this channel please subscribe below and don't forget to ting the icon bell so you are notified of any new videos that i release in the future here's to your health